stay in bed. My battery's almost cracked. This is Chester. I'm standing on the Roman wall that separated the city. And this is the other side of the great city of Chester. Fascinating. I just flew in to the UK and I had my trusty guide with me who's giving me my tour first. I wasn't even tired. First thing he said was, you want to see the city? We went to the Roman Amphitheater. And now we're at the gate. Where, where should we go next? Uh, we're going to walk down the East Gate to the cross, the old preaching cross, ah. right in the crossroads there. And that's where they would preach? Yeah, and uh, yeah, there's a whole history of that. We went to an Eleanor Cross where the body of Queen Eleanor rested on its way down to London for her funeral. And then it became the place where the town crier would give you the news yeah. and preachers would preach. John Wesley preached there. Come on. Others. Yep. So, and then we're going to turn left down Bridge Street, back down to the river where the car is. Hey, guys. It's so cool. Check out where Wesley preached, where... Whitfield, no doubt, preach. Where? How do we go? I'll follow you. We'll go this way. This way. Yeah. And so we're on our way on the great adventure, the Lance's great adventure, the Reformation tour of England. <laughs> and you are here with me, staring up the fires of the Reformation depths, stimulating, stirring up the coals. Aha! Down we go. Steep steps. Into these deep steps and alleyways. And so many of these tall buildings have such a rich history. I mean, the Roman walls I was just looking at. Oh, now we're going out into the streets. This is so trippy. So here we are, people, we're walking together. Soon you'll see the rows, these double decker shops. Cool. So, how you guys doing? Now, like I said, you can go to bed and watch this later. I don't want to offend anybody with my early morning broadcast. The Bible talks about he that wakeneth his neighbor with a loud voice in the morning shall be counted a curse. That proverb means don't wake up, don't wake up people with your periscopes. <laughs> entrance here you've yeah. got these shops here on the ground floor right and then just up a few steps you've right. got a whole extra row of shops on top of right that. it's been like that since medieval times since medieval times there's two layers of stores here the only city like it anywhere in great britain and probably the world this is so freaked out so i looked at the roman amphitheater where there probably were christian martyrs also there's a church catholic church on the property but uh, half of it is still preserved as a memorial to the Romans and this is where the Romans conquered land in order to uh, create a staging ground to deal with the um, who was it the Celts or the uh, Druids. Druids yeah hey listen we got music here in the middle of the uh, square so if it sounds like there's a movie theme coming on my show it's because we have music. So this is Northgate Street, our church, where the conference is going to be, is the far end, the North Gate, which is the end of this street on the right. Oh, cool. Where are my meetings going to be? Well, hold on a second. share this with people now so they can catch it. Victoria up there, see when it was established? 
Love it. All right. Hey, man. Okay, so. So this is the new kind of a traumatic States. moment there, wasn't it? I felt the presence of the Lord. <laughs> now, if you come to this side of the road, I think you'll just see it. Town there, that dirty fire. That's where I'm gonna be. So I'll be down there. Cool, a boss of Nito. Yeah. Come on, guys. It's gonna be trippy today. We're gonna be doing some neat stuff here in the old city of uh, England and uh, Chester. And listen, they're playing music from Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> dun 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 dun. La la la. Should we go that way? Yep. La 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 la. Did you know I was once called the theater? My, uh, for Annabelle and I met my original, I was actually engaged to a girl who was casting director for Saturday Night Live. I think I would have died young if I was in comedy at the wrong time. Drugs. I would have got sucked into party life. All right, here we go. Thank God. The Lord knows how much you can handle. So here we are. Yeah. What time is it over here, by the way? It's now five past twelve. Five past twelve in the morning, in the afternoon. Five past midday, old boy. Midday. My body clock says it's six hours earlier, but I'm still sprightly and bouncing around because I'm excited to be in England. Cool architecture, I'm telling you. I didn't expect it to be this neat. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging out with me, folks. We just arrived. Meetings are going to get very exciting. I'm getting a feel for the city already. A lot of history, as you can tell. But God is always in the present and the future, so let's see where the Lord's going. We'll find out. The, me the music was No One Shall Sleep. Is that true? That song was No yes. One Shall Sleep? Wow. What a coincidence. That song was No One Shall Sleep. He that keepeth Israel shall neither sleep nor slumber. For the Lord has prepared your going out and your coming in from this time forth, yea, even forevermore. That's the song of David. How about that? That's the song we were just doing. Look at these panels. Yeah, panels. I don't want to get run over. I'll make for an un unfortunate event in my preaching career. Look at the top. You see the arch panels there. So on the left, you've got the, the flight to Egypt. Oh, yeah. Mary, yes. Joseph, and baby Jesus. Uh, oh, the woman yeah. at the well. Susanna. Let me see if I can show you guys this one to make. So, we're talking about these things here. Why are they carved in this building like this? Um, it, it was a popular decorative style to show religious piety was part of being an Im important person in society. Isn't in that amazing times, that yeah. in those days, the medieval days, you think that we've uh, advanced. I don't think we've gone backwards. Back in those days, if you loved Jesus and believed in God, you put the, uh, you invested in your architecture to reveal it. Man, we ought to get back to it, huh? This has been a tavern since the year 1274. Whoa. So basically, if I was a first century uh, Christian, uh, I might be right down here evangelizing. Well, at least I'd want to be evangelizing in a tavern. It's the most fun place to evangelize. And this is from the Field Archers, a row of buildings. Oh, yeah. It's the earliest shop front that you need. Here it is, folks. Bringing it to you live. Me and King Abs over there, bringing you the Gluteus Maximus revelation. <laughs> okay, so see, we do have hands on the clock on this face. Oh, look at this, look at this. You guys got to see this. This this church right here, 
it has a, a clock facing this side you will love this it does not have a clock facing Wales which is straight ahead which is straight Wales. ahead and do you know why it doesn't have a clock facing Wales well the church has had a falling out and this church decided it wasn't going to give Wales the time of day <laughs> literally you ever hear the saying couldn't wouldn't give them the time of day it came from this church look check it out can you see on this side you've got a clock on the other side no clock you know why because this one over here right up there is facing Wales they don't want to give Wales the time of day <laughs> Wales, how far is Wales from here? Uh, a couple of miles. A couple most, of miles yeah. going that way. Yeah. Look. <laughs> I say we need to get over this issue. How long has it been this way between these two churches here? Well, it's not even a fight between the churches. It's a fight between the English and the Welsh. There's been bad blood between them ever since uh, Edward Longshanks. So you're going back ooh, 12, oh. 1300s when he tried to conquer Wales built all the castles that everybody goes to go and see so the Welsh and the English have hated each other traditionally for hundreds and hundreds of years so but did they get together ever like go uh, against Hitler or something did that help sure them? sure yeah as part of the United Kingdom but you know but what it's like those old rivalries just, they just simmer seem come under, back again on the surface so it doesn't mean every English person hates every Welsh person but, but this church won't give them the time of day <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, guys, I'll keep you posted. Our meetings haven't started yet. I just arrived here. But uh, we are going to be teaming up together to give you moment-by-moment -moment coverage of the revival. And right now we're discovering the ruins, the Reformation, the Romans, and the activity of God in England. But we walk right past where Wesley preached, so we didn't stop. Uh, that's the crossway he preached, and there's a little church down here oh, on the left man. where he preached. Little Methodist church. Next time we got to stop right there. Okay, where the guy was playing the violin? Yeah. Right there. Oh, how poignant where the guy was playing the violin. That's where Wesley preached. How cool. That's the point of that experience. And we're going to go find the other points later on. I love that. I've got to go back there and do it again now. Okay. Bye-bye.